Hey guys, Mariam here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special, different type of review for you. Nope, it's not going to be makeup, but it's still very much beauty related. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing, trying on, and testing out Key X JLo, the new sunglasses collaboration between Key Australia and JLo. They came out with 14 different types of shades. I have the PR package right here in front of me. I wanna give you guys a down and dirty type of review, Try all of these on, talk about price points, determine whether these babies are worth your time and money. Team Truth style, as we always do. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. Remember to subscribe if you aren't already. Hit that notification bell, because it's important. And let's do this. Key X JLo Sunglasses Full Collection Review. Here we've got Ms. JLo wearing one of the styles. Looking gorgeous as always. God, I love me some JLo. Can I be her? And of course we have a second tray right here with eight additional styles. So all together there are 14 shades in this collection. I was gonna look up the prices for all of them, but then I realized, oh my God, it's really easy. Each of them is $60. Now these shades are available on keyaustralia.com. They're also available at Bloomingdale's, at Nordstrom, and I believe a couple of other retailers, but I will link it down below for you guys in case you are interested in getting them. So I will find where they are still not sold out because some of them are sold out. All of these 14 shades actually come in six different styles. So in each style, there's either two to three colors. The first one that I'm gonna try out is Reina meaning queen. And these are a modernized take on a cat eye. So this one that I have here in pearl slash rose, meaning pearl frames and rose shades. These are rather cute, but unfortunately these don't fit my no nose bridge, wide cheekbone situation. I need a little something for the nose bridge, perhaps the nose pads that are adjustable in order for this to actually sit right. Otherwise they lean on my makeup and it's just super uncomfortable, but they're not as bad as many of these types of styles tend to be on my face. And I think I could still probably make them work, perhaps at the beach on a day where I'm not wearing makeup. I really like the way that these are making me feel. I think they are cute. Now that Reina style also comes in black and smoke. Yes, these are making me feel some type of way. I even like the way that they look with a plain white t-shirt and the JLo bun with some baby hairs. It's just so easy and so fresh and just like, I'm busy. I don't wanna be bothered, you know? But I'm cool and I'm chilling. I like this vibe. Damn it, I wish they fit. Does anybody know where I can get those adjustable little nose pads that I can glue on? Because I really want to make these work. Now I must add that none of these styles have any type of JLo branding on them. They all say key right here in the corner, but I'm not really bothered with the fact that it doesn't say JLo. I would feel a little iffy, even though I love her so much. I don't know if I want my sunglasses to say JLo. Okay, next style that I am going to try is Get Right. Now this style is a shield type of sunny, and there are three colors in this particular style. So now the Get Right style is a glam curved shield type of sunny. It features a sheet gold metal bar cross and some luxe lens options. This style also does have an adjustable nose bridge, which is perfect for me, so I'm gonna take mine in so this sunny can sit a little bit higher. Not bad. Damn, I feel like a boss in these. I can kill someone with my glare. Golden black fade. Oh yeah, you can definitely shield out all the haters with this one. These are very, very chic and very glam. And I do feel like you can wear this with pretty much anything and just amp up your outfit. I like the fact that it fits my wider face. Why am I feeling myself so hard in these shades? And last but not least from the Get Right collection, we have the gold and blue purple. These are pretty bomb as well. I feel like doing a mean mug with these. So. But definitely probably the least wearable color out of the three. Moving on to El Dinero. The El Dinero comes in two different colors, the golden black fade and the golden purple fade. So this is an aviator inspired shield style sunny, also with some nose pads. So let's try on the black one. Very, very cool. Very cash, very ready for my PJ, private jet. And here's the gold and purple fade. I feel rich and also kind of bitching. Like I need to set some boundaries. Like I need to set some rules. I need to tell people what to do in these shades. I like this vibe. Moving on to Empire. This one is another aviator style shield, but this one's frameless, comes in two colors. This purple, blue, pink sort of mirrored and a black on black. Oh my God, I love this one. And I so wish this one fit my face, but it doesn't even come close to fitting my face. I literally have to put this on the tip of my nose in order for it to not touch my face. <sighs> so frustrating. I'm gonna need to have Lee try these. 
I need to save these sunnies. They're just so cute. This one is a little bit better, but still, it just comes so close to my skin. There's no way I could wear this with makeup. We've got Empire for you. Weppa, that is fire. You like that fuego style? I do. Wow, these even come very close to your face. I guess you really need a nose bridge for these shades. Keep that in mind, guys. But I can't have these? Definitely not. I'm gonna find the little nose pads and I'm gonna make these work. Thank you. <laughs> Not so hot on you. Not so hot on me. But at least they fit your face. Mm-hmm. Mm. They fit really good, actually. Well, while you're at it, let's have you try on some of the others. Let's have you try Get Right. Look crooked, though. Terrible. Take them off. Let's try El Dinero. Wow, I like Dinero. <laughs> I think these are a little too big for your narrow face. Wait, Good thing I called you in, because now we have a comparison. Ben or like. But look how they fit me. They're like the width of my face. Wow. That's the thing about shades. You always got to find like, you got to find the right shades for your face. Yeah. Oh, that's going to not be so bueno on me. But they don't have the nose pads, so let's see. What do you think? It's a look. <clears throat> Bye. Bye. So here we have the Playa, which is an OG frame, aviator style, frameless. And this one comes in three different colors. So we have the black purple, the rose and smoke, and the bronze and brown. All of these have nose pads, which is extremely exciting. Here we have the black purple. These are fun, very summery, very easygoing, perfect to wear to the beach, during the day, to a fair. I think these are fun, very, very easygoing, very J-Lo. I like them a lot. Rose smoke. And tighten my nose pads. Oh, yeah, these are classic and the final color is the bronze and brown I really like this one as well. Very very classic very easy to wear great for fall Not just for summer great for a day when it's not actually sunny outside These are the perfect size to kind of cover your face if you're not wearing too much makeup But you put these on and uh, they make you feel a little bit glam and the last style that we have is called all in So this is another aviator style that comes in two different colors black smoke and clear and brown these also come with the nose pads, which is great for me, but I have to make them extra, extra, extra tight in order for it to actually sit on my nose and give my little nose bridge an extension. Otherwise, there's really not a lot of space between my cheek and the aviator, but the style is really cool. Another great daytime style, perfect for the beach, perfect for running errands, like what I'm about to do today. You can kind of see that trying on all of these sunglasses has already messed up my makeup here, which is unfortunate, and it's one of my least favorite things about wearing sunglasses. And the last thing that we have in the Key X JLo sunglasses collaboration is this four pair fold up case. It's got a faux snakeskin print, great for traveling, very sturdy. I believe Jaclyn Hill has the similar kind of case in her collaboration with Key. I've actually never traveled with it, but I think I should. And I think it's a smart way to travel. I do want to compare some of these shades to Key's masterpiece, which is the high keys from Key X Desi. I have one of the original frames, which is the gold on gold. And this is a completely flat type of aviator style, larger than most aviator styles. So it's perfect for wider faces like mine. And I gotta say, it's one of my favorite sunnies to date. So to compare the Playa to the High Keys, they are actually pretty different. The High Keys are a little bit larger, plus the High Keys are completely, completely flat, whereas the Playa is curved. So the only style that would actually be similar to the high keys is El Dinero because it's completely flat as well. Also, they're kind of the similar size. So I guess if you like high keys, you will probably really like El Dinero, which is another one of my favorite styles. Makes me feel like I need to give orders. So I'm gonna continue wearing it. I love the fact that it's got the little nose pad, so it's adjustable for people with wider cheekbones or with more protruding cheeks and flatter noses, AKA a feature that is very common in Asian faces. So I appreciate the fact that some of these are adjustable so that everyone, including myself, can wear them because I honestly have such a hard time finding the right shades. I also really, really love the style Empire. Unfortunately, this is a style that does not have the adjustable nose pads, so I can't wear it and Lee wants to take these sunglasses from me, but I won't let him. I'm gonna get myself some nose pads and I am gonna do a little DIY. Let me know if you guys want a video on that. I also really, really like the Playa aviator style shades with the frameless 
exterior. I think these are classic. These are great for just about any face. They will go with pretty much any outfit. And I think they feel luxurious and they feel elevated. They just feel timeless. Now, some of these shades that I'm not a huge fan of, I'm sorry to say, but get right in this gold blue purple fade are just a little cheapy to me. I'm sorry to say this. I know these are $60 shades, but they don't really feel feel that way to me. I feel like I can find a similar shade for 20 bucks on Canal Street, perhaps even cheaper. If you're from New York, then you know what I mean. That said, I will add the fact that at $60, I do think that these shades are just a tad overpriced. I generally think that the quality of Key Australia shades is not up to par with the price. I feel like they could drop it down a lot. I would totally buy their shades for $30. I would even buy them for 40, but 50 and 60 is pushing the limits of pricing. And I feel like they're sliding into the luxury category, which they are not luxury. These are everyday affordable type of shades. So I do wish they were a little cheaper. However, I am a huge fan of JLo and I really love the fact that she created this collaboration with Key. So I am here for it. Yes, I'm gonna continue wearing them. If you like them, then I suggest to pick them up. All right, you guys, so those are my two cents on the Key X JLo Shades collaboration. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to do more try-ons, more reviews on things that are a little bit outside of makeup and beauty. Comment down below, I wanna know. And while you're here, check out some of my other videos. I do have other JLo-esque videos, such as her Inglot collaboration review. It's right here, click on it. I love you guys, and I will see you very soon. Mwah.